This video we're going to look at determinants. A determinant is a single number or scalar that can only be solved from a square matrix. The determinant, denoted by a double bar, not to be confused with absolute value, of a 2 by 2 matrix is called a second order determinant. A 3 by 3 matrix is called a third order determinant. If the determinant is 0, the matrix is singular. A singular matrix occurs when at least one of the rows or columns is a multiple of another row or another column. If the determinant is non-zero, the matrix is non-singular. A non-singular matrix occurs when all its rows are linearly independent. Same thing as all columns being linearly independent. You'll have a unique solution. A system of linear equations, for example, can be solved when we're dealing with a non-singular matrix. So let's look at how to solve a determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So here's our 2 by 2 matrix. Here's going to be the solution to get the determinant. It's basically going to be a series of cross multiplications. We're going to multiply this first element here by this element down here. And then we're going to subtract this element up here multiplied by this element down here. So again, kind of think of it as a series of cross multiplications. So let's do a numerical example. So we're going to have 4 times 3 minus 2 times 5. We have a determinant here of 2. And this, because it's non-zero, we have a non-singular matrix. Let's do another example. So again, kind of a series of cross multiplications. 8 times 2 minus 10 times 3. We get a answer of minus 14 for the determinant. Again, this is a non-singular matrix because the determinant is not equal to 0. Another example, 1 times 4 minus negative 3 times 2 gives us 10, another non-singular matrix. Here's going to be an example where we get a singular matrix. The, term, the determinant will be 0, so 4 times 5 minus 10 times 2. We get a determinant of 0. So this matrix is singular, and you'll notice here there is linear dependence between the rows or columns. Row 1, this 4 and 10, is equal to 2 times row 2. Or you could think of column 2, this 10 and 5, equaling 2.5 times column 1. So regardless, we have linear dependence, and in this case we have a singular matrix. Another example of a singular matrix the determinant is 0, and there is linear dependence between the rows or columns. Row 1 is equal to 1.2 times row 2, so 10 times 1.2 gives us 12, 5 times 1.2 gives us 6, or another way we can think about it, this is column 1 is equal to 2 times column 2. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.